your neighborhood may reflect how much money you have, but it turns out that how much money you have might depend on which city you live in. Jimmy Rhodes says some are better than others for building wealth. So what's the deal, Jimmy? Having money beats being broke, so building wealth over time can make your life better. And building wealth is the culmination of a lot of choices. Things like saving, investing, and acquiring assets that will appreciate in value. But there's another surprising factor in building wealth. Some cities are better for it than others. Bankrate.com released a list of the best and worst locations, and the results might surprise you. Analyst Klaus Bell led the study. A mistake a lot of people make when they're thinking about wealth is they only think about the revenue side of things. They only think about how much money they're making. But you also have to think about how much you're spending. So post-industrial manufacturing hubs like Cleveland and Detroit are not at the bottom. They're in the top four, right after Houston and Washington, D.C. at numbers one and two. At the other end of bank rates rankings, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and San Diego are the bottom four. A place like San Diego, it's a really good place to go if you've already made money, because then you can afford a house there. You can enjoy all the benefits that San Diego has to offer. But if you're just starting out, it may not be as good. So what makes a city better for building wealth? Here are the top three reasons. And number one, housing costs. A major way that Americans build wealth is through housing. They build equity over time, and when they sell their house, they get to cash it out. We wanted to make sure that the markets we were looking at had the potential for as many people as possible to own homes, but then also that those homes would go up. At number two, access to banking. Without an active and accessible financial sector, people can't get those home mortgages or small business loans they need to get ahead. Are people able to get loans to do all those sorts of things that they need to do? At number three, human capital. Basically, the ability to find a paying gig. The way that most households build wealth is earning money, going out in the workforce, but if you can't find a job, you can't really do that. So if you're planning a move and the world is your oyster, keep in mind the cities that can help you build your nest egg. We have links at our website, thelisttv.com.